Tonight I am on Roosevelt Island and you take, if you can see up there, a little tram across from 59th Street and Roosevelt Island does not have any palm trees and it's not really like the hottest tourist destination spot but as you will see, you will be able to see the skyline of New York. That is really what the reason is for coming, is you are able to see the skyline without leaving New York, as Roosevelt Island is part of New York City. I wanted to take a nice picture of going over the 59th Street Bridge here with the tram. But there was a child. I did not see their face, so I cannot comment whether they were adorable or sweet or loving. All I can say is this child was screaming their bloody guts out. So it didn't really make for uh, a moment of doing any kind of, you know, shooting of footage. I did get a little snippet, and if I'm able to put music over it, um, I will. So, yes, here we are in Roosevelt Island. Now, in the past, I can tell you that this is a great place to see the fireworks, if the fireworks are on the east side of Manhattan. So you could actually bring a picnic over here and you could set it up in order to watch the fireworks. In New York City, they change where they put the fireworks. So you, each year you just have to know which side and then you try to plan the best place to watch them. Wow, there's a whole bank of really gray snow. Once again, back to the, the tour guide thing. I really don't know how many people live on Roosevelt Island. A bit of trivia that I can tell you is that at one time they had a special hospital here and the hospital took care of people with you know, particularly difficult issues like um, no legs or uh, no arms or any kind of grave catastrophe that had happened to them, um, whether by a car accident or possibly, I don't know about war because usually there's a veterans hospital, but there was a hospital here with very difficult cases. And in one way, I don't know if that hospital is still here, but what I can say is, is that in a way these people were very lucky because it, Roosevelt Island isn't packed like Midtown Manhattan on a regular day, pre-COVID. And so therefore they had a chance to come outside and get the fresh air and be able to be there and practically speaking, not having people constantly stare at them, right? So they could feel a little bit less self-conscious. That's That was my observation based on the lack of people on the island. And yeah, so I'm not sure if that was anyone's intention to help them feel better and to help them to have a place where they could feel a bit more safe. But that that's my thoughts, right? Also traffic here, there's much, much less traffic. You can see the cars, but it's certainly not like Midtown. And that's not really a fun piece of trivia. I know. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm just trying to share what I know. I also babysat in a high rise over here one time. It was a really nice apartment. And that was a more chipper event, coming over and just babysitting. 
when I was a babysitter, I worked for an agency where they would just set you up and say, okay, you're going to this address at this time. You'd never met the kid before. You'd never met the parents before. And you just showed up. <laughs> I just, I always thought, wow, they're lucky to have me. But, you know, these agencies, sure, there was a background check. That's great. Okay. But they, no one knew you. And all of these parents would just trust you with their child. And they didn't know you. And oftentimes, they would meet you for maybe three minutes before they would go to the movies. Um, yeah, I've had some really bizarre experiences with babysitting uh, in New York. <laughs> One time, I walked into an apartment that looked exactly like something you would see in a magazine. I've absolutely never in my life seen anything so perfect. And I like to shower, and I like to shower daily, but I promise you, when I walked in that house, I felt my mere presence was making it dirty. The child only had about four feet by five feet to play on a mat that the mother had created. Other than that, the kid didn't go in the rest of 